His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace today in the presence of Bahrain Defence Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. A number of officers and affiliates upon their return from their mission in Yemen. His Majesty granted medals of appreciation to a number of officers and soldiers for performing their noble duties within the BDF forces' participation along the Bahrain-led Arab coalition in Operation Restoring Hope. He commended their tremendous efforts in humanitarian aid operations for the best interests of Yemen and its people. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the BDF's men and wished them and all BDF affiliates continued success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today a number of brotherly and friendly countries' ambassadors to Bahrain, media personnel, senior officials and scores of citizens. The Prime Minister asserted regional developments must be faced with a regional and international determination to enhance coordination at all levels, so as to deal with the threats targeting security, stability and development. 
process. He confirmed all GCC and Arab countries are peace-loving and are looking to all countries to preserve mutual interest and stability. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's role in maintaining security and stability and defending Arab issues under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, highlighting its political and economic power in a way that is able to protect all Arabs. The Prime Minister urged documenting all phases of the national march and the challenges that have faced Bahrain in order for the next generation to be aware of Bahrain's process. He expressed pleasure in the meeting with citizens who took to the government to who looked to the government rather to further enhance its housing, health and educational services and stressed that the government is working on its programs and projects in parallel with people's demands to achieve their aspirations. He called on reinforcing the values of communication among the people in order to strengthen national unity towards further progress and prosperity. The Prime Minister commended the role of journalists in helping the government to ensure providing and improving its services to the people through shedding light on the citizens' needs and noted the press's objective analysis of international development, which reflects Bahraini journalists' growth and maturity. For their part, the audience stressed that Bahrain has become a favourite destination for living and investing, thanks to the government's plans and projects led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. They appreciated His Royal Highness's care to, develop, to the development process so as to meet the demands of the people.
representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the achievement of the Kingdom in the Ironman Europe Triathlon Championship that was held in Germany. He stressed the achievement is thanks to the continuous support of His Majesty the King to the use and sports movement in the Kingdom and stressed that His Majesty's support motivates all participants to score further achievements and enhance Bahrain's position internationally in all fields. His Highness said that this achievement provides inspiration to make more accomplishments in different fields of sport, expressing pride in the team members for making this achievement for the first time in the, on a European level. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the results achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain's jockeys in their overseas outings, stating that they are a source of honour for Bahrain. He said that these results reflect the capabilities of Bahraini athletes and their high spirits, and the results achieved in Britain and Slovakia affirm the extraordinary level of the Bahraini equestrians and the great experience of the jockeys developed thanks to the consistent policy of progress adopted under the wise leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's remarks followed Bahraini jockeys Fahad Hilal al Qatari and Abdurrahman al Zayed's achievement in the Samoran horse race in Slovakia, while their counterpart Yaqub al Hamadi finished fourth in another race. Al Qatari raced to victory in the 120 km race, while Al Zayed came first in the 160 km race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed happiness for their accomplishments, stating that the jockeys are capable of proving themselves on a global scene. Good evening and welcome to the Business News here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,157.72 points, an increase of 1.23 points above last week's closing level. The rise was in the commercial banks and services sectors, with the former representing the majority 67% of total share value traded. In grand total today, there were 52 transactions composed of 2,519,150 shares worth 374,935 Bahraini dinars.